Hello there, I'm B3N, but you call me Ben. Have you ever looked at someone and wondered what is going on inside their head? Well, I'm wondering what's inside of this box. That's what I'm wondering about. So today, we're going to open up a new box from 6R Collectibles. I actually had more footage. I've opened multiple 6R Collectibles boxes since my last previous video on them. But some stuff happened to the footage. I got some pretty good pulls. I managed to pull this Metallic Aang and this Spider-Man 2099 from them, which I'm very excited about. There were just some complications with the video, some of them being too short, some of them just not having the greatest content. So I'm not going to post those videos. However, today we got a guaranteed value box and a Marvel pop because, I mean, I love Marvel. So we're going to review those today and open them up together. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy, and here's all the info that we got on these two boxes. So the guaranteed value mystery box has 250 total mystery boxes. There's a minimum guaranteed value $25, and each mystery box can include either grails, chases, exclusives, or vaulted. There are no commons at all. They're all in condition mint graded A+, and all the sales are final. So here's a look at all the grails that might be in this box. And then for the Marvel Mystery Box, we got a Grail percent 1% chance, a Sub Grail percent of 4%, Exclusive Chase Vaulted 35%, and Common 60%. So now let's find out what's inside this huge box. I mean, look at that. I do really like that they got the Fragile sticker there because that's just nice to make sure that it comes in good quality. And anyways, let's see what we got. I've been pretty happy with my 6R Collectibles order so far. I haven't got any pop side particularly don't like or anything like that. I just the camera quality and like some bad stuff that happened with the footage itself, nothing to do with the boxing themselves, just made it so that I couldn't release the other videos, that's all. Alright, so let's see, we got, whoa, is this, is this more than two boxes? What is this? Hold up. Huh. There's multiple stuff in here. Hold up. What is all this? Yo. There's something in this. We got this box here. This is just packaging, so we're fine about that. We got another box here. And then, is this Frosted Flakes? Hold up. So, um... We got a little bit more than two boxes. I think I know why. I'll explain at the end of this video. Make sure to stay around to the end of this video. There might be a little uh, surprise waiting. All right, so let's open up this Frosted Flakes because this is a, uh, this is pretty cool, whatever this is. I may or may not love Frosted Flakes. No way. We got a Frosted Flakes shirt. It includes this little guy too. Yo! Alright, let's open this up. I I really like that shirt actually. That's cool. I've never actually seen this box in person. Yo! I want to open this right now. I gotta figure out how to open it. I think there's like a little sticker thing here. Still gotta figure out how to open it. Maybe I actually do need scissors still. Just gotta like figure out the ends of the... There we go. Wait. There we go. Big brain moves right there. Very, very smart. Very, very, did not take me way too long to figure out. I know this probably ruins the condition of the box. I just really want the shirt because I, I actually do think that that's a pretty cool shirt. There we go, so out of the seal. Now let's open it up. Oh, this is a sticker that was. Okay, because I saw, I saw the sticker uh, inside the seal. So I thought I was trying to open that. Because I am, again, very, very smart. All right, just gonna leave that right here. We open this up and there's a little Tony the Tiger, a little guy. Very, very tiny, but still really cool. Definitely will put him up on my collection somewhere. And then we got the shirt itself. This is a size XXL, I think. I definitely do not fit in a size XXL. So this will probably become like a pajama shirt, but here we go, yo. All right, hold on, I'm gonna move the camera. Hold up, give me a second. We're almost there. I, I think this is good enough. Here we go. Just a little big, <laughs> but still really awesome. All right, 
not bad. There's a little bit of like stuff on there, but obviously it came in mint condition, so pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna wear this to bed. Sweet. And then the little Tony Tiger guy. Just a kind of little fun add-on. Nice. Well, that's a pretty cool, exciting little gift. Thank you, Six Star Collectibles. That's awesome. All right, so we're just gonna have little Tony here. Pretty cool, gonna keep him right there. Now let's figure out what this is, because this is not soda. This is, oh, oh cool. It's a little pop keychain. Not bad, I do like the keychains. I actually have a few of them. Hold up, I got them right here. I got, I got Stormtrooper and Mandalorian there. So now I got Chewy too, nice. I got a little tiny collection of the pop keychains going on. That's pretty awesome. Chewy. All right, I'll put them right next to Tony right there. Now let's see the actual boxes themselves. Cool. I'm gonna do this one first because I have a feeling this is probably the Marvel one, but I don't know. So let's find out. Let's open it together. I just tore the, whoops. Nothing happened there. Just uh, ignore that. Nothing happened. Ignore. All right, let's see. What is it? Is it Star Wars or is it Marvel? What is it? It's probably upside down. I think it's up, it's upside down. Oh, dang. Oh, it's Flash. Fugitive Toys exclusive. I don't know what this is actually. Hold up. That's pretty cool. This seems like it might be worth a little bit. So this was definitely the mystery, mystery grail figure over $25. Not bad, I got pop sorter for it if it ends up being valuable. Fugitive Toys exclusive. Cool, Flash. All right, that's a pretty cool pop. I'm not seeing any uh, thing wrong with the box here. Seems to be in pretty great condition. Maybe just like a tiny bit, a tiny, tiny bit of blemishes there, but overall, pretty great condition. Now this is probably then the Marvel figure. Unless someone at 6R Collectible thought DC was Marvel, which would actually be hilarious. But I'm, I'm guessing not. I'm guessing they're better than that. I mean, right, right, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. All right, so there we go. We know it's Marvel. Let's see what it is. I'm sorry, I'm destroying the packaging. I love the packaging, but... Oh, yo! Yo, all right. We got T'Chaka. Dude, this is a new one. This is a new one. This is like the Aang. This is a new Fungal Hollywood exclusive. No way. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, that's so epic. Dude. So cool. We got Chaka. We got T'Chaka. He's in a pop protector that you see he's still got even the wrapping on the pop protector itself. So, yo, all right. I got to figure out the price points on these two. Let's find out how much they're worth. All right, so quite an interesting poll. This Frosted Flakes is worth $31. Now, obviously I've ruined the value because I opened it, but that's just because I personally really wanted the shirt and really like it. So that was valued at $31. This pop keychain actually surprised me quite a bit. It's worth $12. This, I'm not sure what if it's an extra gift or if this actually was a mystery rail package because the one with a different sticker, not the Fugitive Toy sticker, but a different sticker, this one would have been worth $25 exactly. But since this is a Fugitive Toys exclusive, it's only worth $17. So I'm wondering if this was actually the mystery rail and this was the extra thing. Either way, I got an extra item. So I mean, hey, I ain't complaining. So that is pretty cool. And then Chachaka is worth 46 bucks. So this actually was the most expensive pull. The Marvel pack actually ended up having the most uh, priced item. So that is pretty cool. All in all together, it equals $106 worth of items. Now that's absolutely insane. Here's the price I actually paid. And then I got quite a bit of a return. So this was a definite win. When I opened the box, I was confused as to why I got these extra stuff because there has been something in the works. I just wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. There have been some emails exchanged with Six Star Collectibles about a potential sponsorship. And I think that this may be a part of it. I'm not sure if the sponsorship is officially official yet, 
However, I will say definitely go check out Six Art Collectibles. They got some awesome mystery boxes and there is an affiliate link in the works right now. So soon I'll have an affiliate link for you guys. If I do get it by the time that this video is posted, then I have a link down below in the description. Don't know what the percentage is yet because it's still in the works, but I'll let you guys know. So Six Art Collectibles, thank you so much. I look forward to purchasing more boxes from you and the future that we got together. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a beautiful day. Have a great day. And goodbye now.